on Iowa Live. From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live. I am Lou, and boy, do we have a very special guest joining us right now. Coming up in 2024, it's the huge anniversary, 50th anniversary of Variety, the children's charity telethon. We've already recorded our first episode. We had uh, Ray Johnson and Mike Riley, two of the founding fathers of the telethon, joining us. But we wore a tux, and we had a bow tie. But we found out when we we're getting ready to get dressed, it was a real bow tie, and we couldn't figure out how to tie it. So we had to use the strap on bow tie. It looked really nice. Thank you, Skeffingtons, for that. But we brought in a bow tie aficionado. He is an author. He's on the board of Variety, yes, the children's charity, uh, Danny Byer. And you are known for your bow ties. Yes. Back in 2012, I tried on my first one. It took me about an hour to learn how to tie it. And I understand <laughs> we have less than five minutes. Yes, we do. So but, we got to get this done. But we are going to do hurry. this. But uh, Danny, also uh, networking a guru folks has a book that's out now a second edition of it came out this month ties that bind yep uh, it just tells you what the tips and tricks of networking you got it networking business development really relationship development is the core of it um, just helping young professionals helping college students helping old professionals figure out how to build those relationships really crucial coming out of COVID. It seems like we stepped backwards a little bit. This right. is, I hope, bringing us back up to speed. Okay, now is one of the things uh, that's part of this is appearance and, and the way you present yourself? There is, there's some pieces in there about it. Uh, dressing for your environment, dressing for your day. I don't give tips on how to tie a bow tie there, but I do have a video on my website. <laughs> uh, the thing that people don't realize is it's actually like tying your shoes around your neck. Okay. It's hundred percent the same Seriously? steps. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna try this. Uh, we're gonna see if uh, DNA can teach us how to uh, tie a bow tie. How did the whole bow tie thing start with you? It was actually uh, a friend of mine. I texted her and said, "Do you think that I can wear a bow tie?" And she said, absolutely, we're gonna go out over lunch and try to do this thing. Okay. So we went to uh, Yonkers right over here at Valley West. Okay. And uh, I was there for an hour trying to tie it because I wanted to make sure I could get it done right. Okay. Now. So now what, what's the first thing you did here? One of the first things we gotta do, Lou, is make sure that it's the proper length. You wanna go about a half an inch to an inch larger than okay. what your neck size what, is. What did you set that on now? <laughs> I, I'm 18 and three quarters. Okay, that's what I measured. Yep. Yeah, okay. And so every every tie is a little different. Um, just because this one's 18 and three quarters doesn't mean the next one's going to be 18 and three quarters. Okay. So um, you flick the collar up. So it, flick the collar up a little bit if you can for me. All the way. There we go. Yep, perfect. Now I got my Elvis look going. <laughs> and you want, honestly, the, the two ends to meet here kind of like fish. I call them fish, where they're going to connect about down at this button. That's a good length for a bow tie. You're going to come, and then it's literally just like your shoes. So make the underpass just like you do with your shoe. Um, get it cinched up to as tight as you want it. Okay, uh, that's good. Now this one's unique because we got the pattern. So you want to make sure that you have your hearts upside down, not or right side up, not upside down. So we're going to go over, get our hearts the right way. And now we've got our loop behind. Just like your shoe, your loop is what you're going to pull on to tighten it. Your loose end is what you're going to pull on to loosen it. Or sorry, I did that backwards. Um, but anyway, this is the hardest point of tying a bow tie right here, finding this hole. Uh, I don't know if the camera got it. That's where my finger is. Okay. Uh, so now you're going to take your loop end and just shove it through this hole. And you don't really have to care about what's going on in front at this point. All we want to do is, is get, get this loop through. Yep, get this loop through. So at this point, it looks terrible. Okay. But we have a tied bow tie. We can actually now fix everything. So I usually start with the front, pull it down straight. So now we've got a straight front on it. Again, you're going to pull the two loops to make it tighter. You're going to pull your two loose ends to make it loose. And so you just do it a couple different times, snag it down there as tight or as loose as you want, and look at that. First try. First try. He First got it. First try. You can put your collar down. Okay, we're going to put your collar down. <laughs> All right. Now, how does that look? I think we're good. 
Now, Lou, there's there's really a couple different reasons you want to wear a bow tie. Why is that? The first one, guys are jealous because they don't know how to tie it. <laughs> the second one, if you leave this on for your next segment with Alex, yeah. um, girls love straightening them. Oh, really? So it's okay. a, a pro well, tip I'm leaving there. it out. Then. There, there's no question about it. So there you have it, folks. We did it. You, you just learned how to tie a bow tie, and you see all the varieties of bow ties here. Yep. How many of these have you purchased over the years? I've purchased about 50. I have another 50 that were gifts. All of these ones that I got up here are gifts. You got your, your Iowa State one. Um, you've got one from down in New Orleans. These three I'm particularly proud of, though. These are the actual variety bow ties we've designed over the years for the bow tie ball. And the bow tie ball, uh, tell us about the bow tie ball. Created it with Zach Bell's Henry back in 2012. We ran it for about four years, mm -hmm. raised over $100,000 for variety in Iowa kids in that time frame. Um, we got older, life happens. It's kind of dissolved now. Okay. I'm hearing whispers it may be coming back. We'll right. see, we'll, we'll see. We'll but see. Yeah, time will tell on that right. side. Well, maybe for the uh, the 50th anniversary, 50 years of miracles and the party that we have afterwards, yep. we can incorporate the bow tie ball into that and have people wear bow ties, bow ties to the 50th anniversary. I love it. And just so you know, Lou, you have joined a prestigious crowd now. Uh, Christopher Meharry is here with us taking pictures. Hey, Chris. Uh, taught him how to tie his bow tie. I actually taught Jacob Rep how to tie the bow tie in Panera. And now <laughs> you're the first one I've taught on live air. So, that so I'm great. glad we got this and done. And now you know how to tie a bow tie tie as well. Thank you Thanks, so much. Man. Appreciate it Appreciate so very, very much. Variety. And thank you for everything you do for yes. Variety at the same time. All right, so. we come back. We'll see if Alex Wilson likes our new bow tie that we have on here. We'll find out what we can catch in Des Moines coming up next.